I don't believe I'm on your list, but, yeah, <laughs> but I'm here anyway. My name is Rosa. I'm Rosa Parks. Oh my God! How sweet of you to come! Well, I, I hear these things that are being said. Oh my goodness! And I think of myself back so many years ago. Yeah. I was a scared, very scared young girl, a young woman, and uh, but I was also uh, humiliated yes. so many times. Uh -huh. I was, uh, uh, I didn't quite know what to do, but then the day came, the moment came, the moment came. and I said, this is it. This is it. God be with me. Oh my God. And I stood my ground. <laughs> I stood by sitting. Yes. <laughs> I stood tall by sitting strong in my chair, my <clears throat> seat. And I continued to do that because just as Martin Luther King just said, it was planted in my brain. Yes. It was at that moment it was planted and it began to grow. And I said, but for the help of God and the backing of a lot of people, not very many, but, but, uh -huh. uh, but uh -huh. a lot still, uh, I could not have done this. It was the idea, once again, it was the idea that I had. I did not score victory for me. No. Uh, uh, if anything, I would have been an intelligent woman to qu sit quietly. Yes. Because I became a target for abusive language. I became a target for threats to my life. I became a target for uh, those of my own people who said uh, to me, be quiet, yeah. be quiet, don't rock the boat. I couldn't do it. There was no turning back. There was no uh, giving up the seat. That was my seat. And we needed a heroine. We had heroes, some. But we needed a heroine, and there you were. Well, and I was just so small and scared. I had nothing to back me up. I wasn't, uh, uh, what uh, you would say, a radical. Yeah. I wasn't even a speaker of any sort. I had just been a, a, a very ordinary quiet woman, but I knew the moment had come and I had to and step out hmm. and say no more. No more. God bless you. Oh, your name is Betty? Yes. Betty, you don't know the fear that I felt, but you don't know the power that I felt behind me. I said, surely God is with me. Surely the power of just being is mine. Well. And from that day forward, whenever I was abused verbally, physically, uh, emotionally, uh, spiritually, uh, I said, I have power behind me. I have God Almighty. Oh, God bless you. And I had emissaries of God. Yes. I had, uh, uh, I had Medgar Evers. I had Martin Luther King. Yes. I had, uh, uh, and uh, uh, those were the big name people, but, uh, and I appreciated their backing, but I had so many people that 
never had a face nor had a name right. that were behind me. Right. So I was good. And I'm happy I did it. Oh, yes. I'm happy for... And so is much of the world. Yes. You know, those little mementos, those memorials that uh, say uh, Rosa Park Avenue yes. Yes. or Rosa Park Park <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> or uh -huh. uh, any of those things, they're so small. I appreciate them, but they're so small. What is what I want to be recognized for is uh, standing. By sitting in my seat, I yeah. stood tall. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's God what, bless you. That's what people need to know. They don't have to uh, start a war. Right. They don't have to start a fire. They don't have to turn over the bus. Just something small. Something, yeah. Something as small as sitting in your chair, <laughs> in your uh, yes. bus seat, in your car seat, whatever it may be, uh, sitting quietly. Because I was quiet. Yes. I didn't know what to say. I know. I can see your beautiful <laughs> face right now. <laughs> what does one say? What does a colored woman uh, that is... Uh, uh, facing down uh, a big power structure, what is she to say? Well, first of all, now I'm not, uh, I know I'm not colored. <laughs> I know that I am, uh, I am just me. I don't describe myself as colored. I don't describe myself as a black woman. I don't describe myself as Negro. Mm -hmm. I describe myself as Rosa. Rosa. God. And yeah. just as I don't describe you as any day, anything but Betty. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. You know how precious this Middle East Peace Initiative is, you know, to me. And, yes, and so, yes, yes. And to meet the people who are really... Yes, uh, absolutely. Who are the real ones, you know. And uh, uh, inasmuch as I was never in the Middle East, uh, uh -huh. and still this is a part, it's all a part of the, yes. the greater yes. good. Is it good for the people? Yes. So, well, I will go. I could uh, very easily. I have changed over the years. I changed from a, a very quiet uh, a, a wallflower uh -huh. into uh, one who had, uh, I knew I had words to say and I had to say them. A spokesperson for peace. That's right, as you are, uh, just as you are. Well, I'll go now. Thank you. Thank you.